flying squadrons of amphibious scout cars, America's newest and most flexible of mechanized equipment. Capable of traveling by water as well as on land, these seagoing motor cars can hurl a striking force across streams and rivers at incredible speed. They roll ashore under the same power that drives them through the water. Blitz buggies from America to smash the axis. Now an ammunition factory, one of hundreds engaged in turning out the millions of rounds of small arms ammunition needed by the United Nations. Plants working day and night. Ammunition for planes fitted onto machine gun belts and packed ready for instant use. Steel jacketed messengers of death from America to smash the Axis. Another factory in the arsenal of democracy. Here, the powerful new tank destroyers are forged in numbers that would stagger the enemy. Rolling out to the testing ground. Faster than the tank, the M10, as the Army calls it, is capable of destroying the heaviest armored vehicles yet seen in the field. Today, the great highways of America are alive with truck transports, speeding weapons and supplies from inland factories to the coast. Big guns destined for some far-flung fighting front. Invasion barges rolling from plants in the interior over high-speed highways to the sea. Tons of supplies, food, equipment, all United States transportation mobilized to smash the Axis. In the field, artillerymen test the powerful new 240 millimeter howitzers, some of the heaviest weapons in service. From carefully concealed positions, the Big Berthas of the Army speak. capable of hurling 300-pound projectiles many miles with amazing accuracy. from America, speaking the only language the Axis understands. 